I'll start. Um, thank you, Clive. Um, initially, this was a real problem, and we surveyed our members very early on in the pandemic in March, and I'm very happy to forward the results of that survey to the Secretariat, but essentially we had a problem initially in that so many people were self-isolating because they had had symptoms, or indeed one of their household members had had symptoms, so they were forced to be off work for 14 days um, due to not being able to access a test in an already very, very short-staffed and overstretched NHS. And we'll talk about this next week, I'm sure, with mental health, but actually that's been a real risk to people's mental health because those doctors sitting at home felt really guilty about not being able to help that pandemic, but that's a tangent. Um, whilst that was happening, we uh, received evidence from several trusts, of doctors to several trusts of doctors being recalled from that self-isolation uh, against NHS England, Public Health England guidance at the time, because their departments or wards were so short-staffed. Um, that has got better, I must say, but certainly my personal experience, and I know the experience of our members is people understand now that doctors are going to need to take sick leave should they become symptomatic, and the access to testing has been, until this week, much better. So, yes, it was an issue. I don't think it is as much of an issue now. 